Prophecy. Welcome to my channel. I'm optimistic. And uh, today's video, I'm going to share with you um, how to migrate to Australia. How to migrate to Australia. Australia is one of the country in recent times uh, that are devoted to welcoming new immigrants into their various states. So, aside Canada, USA, um, and other European countries, Australia also welcomes so many immigrants into um, their country. So, in this video, I'm going to share with you various ways to migrate to Australia uh, without spending um, too much amounts. So, before anything you, you, you migrate to Australia, I advise you, you have to log into the, the Department of, the Australian Department of Home Affairs and check that website and there's um, self-assessment tools. The self-assessment tools that you can put in your details and everything, the system will instantly um, give you the feedback, either you qualify for the program or not, before you, in the long run, you waste your time and energy and all that. You have to check all those things. After the self-assessment tool, you have to do the self-assessment to the, the, um, the Australian Department of Home Affairs and, uh, and check either you are eligible for the, pro each, um, the available program or not. And uh, after that, um, you have to pass the, uh, the proficiency in English, the IELTS exams. You have to have good standing, good standing pass, not any pass. Even uh, band, band, the, uh, the overall band 4 is a pass, but that doesn't qualify you um, as a good candidate for immigration of Australia. You have to get band 8 and band 9. The other countries and other uh, states are set band four, five, depending on the work that you are going to do. So Australia, migration to Australia, either for academics purpose or for uh, employment or either for refugees or whatsoever, you have to have um, pass the, the IELTS exam and have good standing. You have to have good standing. Um, the IELTS exams, um, let me, let's remind ourselves that there are the two types of the IELTS exam. What's the IELTS exam? It is um, the International English Language Testing System. International English Language Testing System. Uh, organized by the British Council. Organized by the British Council. And uh, we have um, two main types of the IELTS exams. That's um, the general test and the academic test. The general test is for immigration, um, work purposes, and others. And the academic test, as the name suggests, academics, is for only academic purpose. It's for only academic purpose. The general, the, the slightly difference between the general test and the academic purposes, the general test devoid itself of uh, mathematics and a uh, whole lot. Um, but the, um, the academic text, there is a bit mass, it comprises a lot, but the general test, because it's for immigration purposes, um, the general test, both, both tests focus on the, there are four types in each, uh, either academic test or the general test, you have four types, or uh, you'll be given four types, set of questions. You have the reading test, um, the listening test, writing and reading test. The reading test, the listening, writing and speaking. The reading test, listening, writing and speaking. So you have to be familiarized yourself with this um, test. Uh, you have to, if you, if you are intended to apply for any of this one, you have to constantly um, work, uh, get a pass questions. You can get some from YouTube, read and solve them, do um, listening, do listening test and um, after that you, you cross check the answers and uh, get a speaking partner. The speaking partner, they mainly focus on your grammar, the fluency in the, um, 
in the speaking. So let's take note of that. Let's take note of that. Um, the following states in Australia uh, is uh, is noted for they are noted. The following states are noted for um, uh, giving visas and welcoming new immigrants into the state. Let's look at some of the states. We have two main types of uh, the two main types of visas that you can apply. We are we have two main categories. We have off, offshore and onshore application. The offshore is mainly um, individual uh, who is currently outside uh, the state, any state, either um, Victoria and uh, either Victoria and. Uh, Another state who is willing to apply to the um, Australia immigration process. So, if you are living in um, outside um, Australia and you want to apply as for citizenship or for immigration purpose, you have to apply as offshore applicant. Offshore applicant because um, the offshore simply means that you are applying outside. The states of Australia, the states of Australia. Either you are living in uh, Victoria, outside Victoria, Queensland, or whatsoever, you are you are uh, advised to apply as um, offshore. Yes, uh, you are advised to apply as offshore. And Tasmania, Tasmania, either um, Queensland, Victoria, or Tasmania, or this one, if you are not within the state of Australia. You are advised to apply as offshore. And uh, let's check this one. The onshore is uh, as uh, apply, uh, application for Australia citizens who is um, currently living in Australia and want the wife or the partner is not um, Australia. Is not currently living in Australia, or he or she is not an Australian. That person can apply. The, the, the citizen can apply for the partner also to uh, to migrate or as an immigrant to Australia. Or people who are currently living in New Zealand have the opportunity. And if you are living in New Zealand and your partner is also not in New Zealand or Australia, you can the, the onshore. Um, program give you advantage to apply for your cities, um, your partner to move as in, uh, migrant or through the immigration process to Australia. So if you are living in any of the uh, above any of the states, you qualify to apply for your partner. If your partner is not with, with you, you can apply through the onshore program for your partner to join you. There is some, some criteria you have to fulfill or uh, requirement or eligible criteria you have to um, fulfill. Some states focus on um, only offshore. Um, states like Victoria, they focus on both um, onshore and offshore. But states like Queensland, sometimes they, they focus on one, either onshore or offshore. Tasmania also sometimes offshore or onshore so you have to visit their website and check for um, uh, either the, the state you want to apply um, if the program is for onshore or offshore so the state of uh, victoria as i said earlier in the, the, currently the application is um, for both offshore and onshore and uh, let's look at eligible criteria that you can apply uh, or you have to fulfill before you can move to um, the state of uh, Victoria. Uh, all the professions that are on the relevant, you have to check um, the Australian Department of Home Affairs, their website, and know that you meet the standard or the criteria that you have stated there and have the skills. You have stated certain skills that you 
you, you uh, the, your skills are fall in line with what you have enlisted at your website. So that's something like um, if you have uh, skills in IT, accounting, and trades, you are uh, eligible to apply. You are eligible to apply. You must be less than forty-five years. You must be less than forty-five years. If you are applying, you are willing to apply to the to live in the um, the state of Victoria. You have to, through the offshore or onshore program. You have you must be um, less than. You must not be above forty five years. Forty five years because they believe that as you advance in age, your strength level also fall, and they are not inviting people to just um, come to the country. They, are, they want energetic um, young adults or um, youths who can work hard and pay taxes and contribute to the growth of their states. And uh, you need to possess an occupation. On the, uh, as I mentioned earlier, yeah, before you qualify, you have to check whether you have the, um, or the occupation. They have been enlisted in DHA, the Department of Australian Home Affairs website and know uh, whether your skills you possess IT, accounting, trades, whatsoever, you fall in line with them so that you can also apply. You, you have to be ensured that when you are applying through Victoria, so when they give you the opportunity, you are not going to live in Queensland or Tasmania, you are going to live in the, uh, Victoria, so bear it in mind. There's a, 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 a score when you put in your details, they will give you a score. The system they have designed a certain system that will um, give you the point. The, the, uh, the system will give you uh, um, scores or points. The points must be above six, from 65 upwards, 65 points and upwards. Now, the, the point is uh, your age, your education, your um, work experience and cool. Your work experience and cool. It must be the system will calculate. You cannot manipulate it. And make sure you put in the correct uh, correct details because at the end of the day you are going to back it with um, your certificate or you are going to prove to the consulates or the embassies that whatever you have stated there is correct. Not just that you are going to enter anything there. To get the appropriate uh, points to go scot free, they don't do it that way. And uh, the, the, let's look at the Queensland. The Queensland also they have a program for uh, only uh, onshore. They have program for currently they have program for onshore. That's uh, if you are Australian citizens and your partner is not with you. You have the right to apply for your partner or your wife or husband to be with you as um, immigrant or migrate to Australia. That's the onshore program. Onshore program. You must have a job profile. You have to get a, a particular job, either IT, accountant, teachers, or whatsoever. So you can check um, the DHA website, the Australia Department of Home Affairs website, and no more. The state of uh, Tasmania also um, have a program for both onshore and offshore, so uh, you can apply to Tasmania also. They have a program for both offshore and onshore. So um, if you are young and you have the desire to migrate or go to any of the Australian countries, this is the time. If the means are there, there's no harm in trying. You can visit their website and check. Each and every one new immigrants are moving on to another country, uh, and the first thing, first, uh, first step. So you have to do gather your all your documents and apply. You can do it on your own. Don't you can do it on your can apply everything on your own. Uh, so and and get it. Just make sure whatever you are doing, you have the documents to back it. At the end of the day, you will be successful. Go through it. So, in today's video, I would like to end it here. Um, 
it's, it's my pleasure for you to subscribe to this channel so that I'll keep on making such um, new video. You can leave your comments at the comment section if you have contribution or suggestion or any even even if um, whatsoever you have, you can um, add it at the comment section um, for a better one next time. Okay, so my name is Sai uh, Optimistic, I'm the CEO of Optimistic Travels and Consultancy. See you next time in the next video. Thank you.